Rafael Fizev, welcome to BT Sport. How are you? Perfect. You perfect. look perfect. You look perfect. You look like you're a, you're, you're a happy, smiley, ready to go to war on uh, on Saturday night. Yeah, always happy when you go to war. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, yeah. always make me happy. How how do you how do you find celebrating birthdays in the middle of camp? So congratulations. Two weeks ago, obviously. Thank you. A significant birthday as well. Turning thirty now. Yeah. You've got two little ones in your house. Obviously, they will want a party. They want to eat cake and various things like that. But we can't do that during no, during fight no, camp, man. No, no, no. <laughs> but but it's last, my last year. I, I I have to fight with Dos Anjos like March for March five for on my birthday. On your birthday, yeah. Yeah, and I'm that's that's good. That's my job. We could celebrate after yeah. Saturday night. You could go home and and sure. celebrate. Sure. I want to show our audience in the UK a little bit more about you, your personality and your your origins in fight sports before we talk about the fight we, we just did at the weekend. Um, the way that I find the story of your of your father getting you and your cousins to have a little bit of uh, uh, a fight when you were when you were younger mm -hmm. amusing. Talk, talk to me about those times and, and those introductions into fight sports. Yeah, my father, he's a, he's a fan of fan of sport, fan of fights, not only sports, he's fan of street fights also. Yeah, that's why that's why he, he take all cousins. He's to pay money for us, like two dollar, three dollars, something like, like that. Yeah, and and make and make us fight like dogs. Yeah. How old? How old were you? Oh, it's before school. It's like five years old. It's a five years, five six years old, something like that. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's very <laughs> very young. Yeah, it's we we are kids, we are kids, and we fight like real dogs, you know. For because this two dollar in the village, this is like, it's like you're very very rich guy. Yeah, that's why we fight. We fight for this so hard how, how, how many cousins do you have how many, how many how many people were involved oh my father he have like nine kids in the family okay yeah so a lot of cousins because he have five brothers and yeah. four sisters and like everybody have f have a son and a, l a lot of cousins so we have a lot of fights are you the youngest or so we have same 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 years you know same same age okay same like maybe one hour one 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 year different, some half years, one year different, this, just like that. I like it. So the same ages, same weights, but prize fighting. No, uh, not uh, no same weight. <laughs> I'm, I'm, some bigger guys. I'm biggest weight, you know. I'm, You're I'm, the biggest. I'm heavy, you know. I'm heavyweight, like, but I fight with, but I'm still lost. I'm, I'm lost everybody, for everybody. Really? Yes, I'm, I'm not winning. Okay. <laughs> Your introduction into professional uh, combat came off the back of, of an incident at school, Somebody punched you. You then took to Muay Thai. Talk to me about how mixed martial arts, martial arts in general, has shaped shaped your life, and now obviously provided you with a, a fantastic career. Yeah. It, so sports, this combat sports, that make me like who I am now. Like because uh, before before sport, I'm like, I'm different guy, and uh, in a sport, like I'm start to believe myself because like I'm start to win. I'm start to believe more for myself more adapted for life because uh, I, uh, when you fight and you, you have to adapt it for your opponent, same. When you ha have hard life, you have to adapt it for this also. Yeah, and, and this has helped me, I think, also. <laughs> it's, it's like what we call a metaphor for life. So for the things that you are learning in martial arts, you can use outside of the octagon as well for, for the challenges that you face. I think, yeah, I can say like that also. From those humble beginnings with, you, with your father and the, the cousins prize fighting, what does your father make of you now as a, a professional in uh, in the fight game? Now, <laughs> now always when I when I when I win the bonus or when I take the money, he just call me. <laughs> say, okay, this bonus you send me for my card. You know the numbers. That's it. You know. He yeah. take, mate, you're getting a lot of bonuses. That's a lot of money that you're sending his way. Yeah, this is father, bro. I can't say nothing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Still, sometimes when I come in to come back to home and uh, like we sit and eat something, and I want to say something like. Like how I see that, yes. but he said, "Hey, shut your mouth." He's I the know. boss. Yes, he's the, he's boss. the boss, of course. He's the boss. <laughs> it wasn't always martial arts, though, as a career, because you started. You went through like the police academy in in your hometown and and, and became a police officer. Yeah. Talk to me about deciding to leave that and then move into Thailand and and and, and pursuing what you're doing now. So when I learning in police academy, uh, I. Uh, I, I still fight. I still train, yeah. and uh, still like like fight. Still like still watching UFC, like all this stuff. And uh, when I finish this, 
have some trouble in a in a police you know because police in kyrgyzstan like it's it's not justice not no have uh, like your career is you don't know how your career going like couple of my friends with who are very close in police academy he's sitting in jail now because uh, because you know there's some rules country yeah. rules it's some different not not like here and um uh, yeah that's why i i make decision like going going to thailand and for watching next five year if next five year i i have something some way open for ufc for me uh I going, but if not, I come back and uh, come back to police and start to work in police. But after five years, I w way to UFC is open for me. Yeah, and I doing well. I'm here now. Yeah. Doing well. Was it a, was that a difficult decision? Because that's tough, like to tell yeah. family and things like that. I'm going to pursue a different dream now. It's so hard. Yeah, when I when I make this uh, this decision, it's so hard for me because. Because all, all, like my life, when I was in a school, also I think like oh I become a police officer. I I want to stay in a police officer. I want to work in police. Like I, I love that. Really love that. And uh, yeah, when I finished it, when I finish it, and I want to change. Yeah, I'm think a lot, and I ask my father also. He's also former former police officer also, and I ask him like, and he don't think you know. He t he just tell me like hey, you know need it. Just go and make your your professional career try. Yeah, and I listen to him and I go. How how much confidence do you take from that, from your father being able to say, follow your dream, don't do what I did, follow the thing that is burning inside you? Yeah, my father, he always supported me. He's always supported me, what, what I'm saying, like in a sport, in a, also this this moment, he supported me. And uh, yeah, and I listen to him. He, because he, he, he older than me, he know more, he see more, he, you know, he, just ho have more experience, more than me, and it's still working. He's earned them bonuses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's earned them bonuses. With your father and people back home, do they do they tune in to whenever you are fighting in the UFC? Do they all get together? Is it in a restaurant or whatever? Does everybody go to one house to watch to watch when you're in? Yeah, of course, in my home, like many people, many people watching my my fight. Yeah, because in a home in my country, we. We all love the sport. We all love the combat sport. We all love the UFC, and many people love the UFC. Like, like UFC now already know that you know, like uh, because Habib, Dagestan, yeah. is all this. This is same. This is same in my country. Yeah, and uh, I hope they enjoy it, and I hope I make them happy. When you went to Thailand and obviously started working and training at Tiger. Talk to me about the, the the level change because there's a lot of good people on those mats in order for you to be able to sharpen your tools to get to the level that you're currently at. Yeah, in Thailand, in, like in Tiger Muay Thai where we train, you, your level is always growing because a lot of fighters, a lot of young Tigers going, going and train and they're like hungry. Like example, like one month ago when, uh, when, when, when my camp is going like going crazy, we have like I don't know, like 200 people in inspiring, one 100 people in inspiring. We the we change the times so with 4 p.m. Like people who like before 70 kg spar and like 5 p.m. Okay. after 70 kg, but still one hour <laughs> we, we 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 make separate, you know, we make separate group, make a half and half half group sparring, half group waiting, and change again like every round, you know. There's quite a few British guys now using uh, Tiger Muay Thai. We obviously Brendan Lochner, and I've been speaking to him this week. He says you're the best guy that he's ever been on the mat with. He says you're the best sparring partner. If he's saying like that, uh, I think I think he knows him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he I, lo I like him so much. He's a he's a very good guy, and uh, I like his style a lot. He's uh, he's he deserves what he have now. Has he given you any information about fighting in front of British crowds? Ah, no, yeah, no, yeah. I have to ask him. <laughs> I have to ask. You'll him. have to phone him because it's going to be loud on Saturday sure, night. Sure, sure. I know just one. Like, who are ya? Who are ya? <laughs> this one. <laughs> uh. The fight with with Justin at the at the weekend. A lot of people look at this fight. They see your style. They see his style. They can see the physicalities of the fight. Do you think this is more in the brain than in the heart? This fight. This is going to be about IQ. The person that wins at the weekend 
Yeah, I think I think uh, you know we have same heart. He liked to fight with the heart. He liked to he liked to pressure and hard punches, all make all hard in a fight. <coughs> but still, he have like how many? Like 25, 30 fights in MMA. Uh, but I think it's still still not enough for me because I have big big amateur career. I have like so close for 300 fights in my life. Like um, this is still not enough. So your 30, so your 30, 30 fights. This is nothing for me. We see how he fight with Khabib. Khabib also have a lot of big experience, like big uh, amateur experience. And um, so my IQ, I I believe it 100%. My IQ is much 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 better than him. And uh, also my technique is more more have more something special moments for him. It's it's tough. Is this division? The toughest in the UFC, do you think? Lightweight. I don't want. I don't. I don't like these words, but people say like that sometimes. But I want to stay humble. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough division. It is. Yeah, it's a very tough division. This this division, like where where you're watching, if you see some like not also not top fifteen guys, it's also have some strong guys. Yeah, and top fifteen. 15, 10, 9, 8, everybody strong. Everybody everybody can can beat us for f top five also. Yeah. The last time I spoke to you, you predicted that Islam would become champion and, and beat Charles. How did you see the Islam and Alexander fight first and foremost? This is very good fight. I wait from Alex this fight. Like I mean, it's not a surprise for me what Alex did. Uh, but, but still, if if we see like UFC rules, like uh, Islam win, if Islam win with, with the rules, it's like he win hundred percent because he take control, take a bag, control time, like all this, <laughs> and uh, <coughs> yeah, he's won. Do you think that when you fight for the UFC title, it will be against Islam, or do you think it may be against somebody else when your time comes? I think Islam. Yeah, all la last two years in the UFC, I think only about Islam. If I go to going fight for the belt, it is Islam, I think. How does this fight with Justin on Saturday play out? Uh, all fights for me the same uh, because I want to win. You know, I want to win, and uh, I'm just going and make make my make my job. It's like my like I always say like it's like my kitchen. I go in and make some 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 nice food in in my kitchen. You know. Cooking. Yeah, cook. You're doing cook. some cooking on Saturday I night. Some cook, yeah. Finally, I know that you like bl uh, blacksmith, mm -hmm. making swords, making making weapons. Have you had much time to do anything recently? Have you have you made no, anything? I'm, I'm still like you know like one amateur. Are you an amateur I'm, sword maker? Yeah, I'm still I'm still I, I'm still learning. Okay. <laughs> I'm still learning. But this is for something after UFC. Once everything yeah, finishes. Yeah, this is this is for sure something when I'm retired, when I'm finished, when I'm. When I have a lot of time with family, when I'm tired from family, I'm going to <laughs> run styrofoam. <laughs> so we're going to see the Rafael Fiziev shop where we can buy swords. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Perfect, my man. Listen, enjoy London, safe wake up, and we look forward to seeing you do your thing on Saturday night. Thank you so much. Welcome to BT Sport Box Office. Anyone can enjoy a BT Sport Box Office event and you don't have to be a BT Sport customer, have a BT ID or a BT Sport login to do so. Here's how to buy using the BT Sport Box Office app. Follow the registration sign-up process and create an account. Once you're logged in, select the event you wish to watch and follow the instructions to purchase. You can pay with a credit or debit card and through your EE, O2 or 3 mobile bill. But if you've bought a BT Sport box office event before and already have an account, simply log in to bt.com forward slash sport box office and select the event you wish to buy. Once you've bought the event online, download the BT Sport box office app to your mobile or tablet. You can also access the event online through our web player or to view on your TV, you can cast the app using Chromecast or AirPlay on supported devices. And finally, remember you only need to pay online if you want to watch the event on the BT Sport box office app. 
Enjoy the show.